Welcome to Analytics with Nax. In this video, I'm going to talk about Timdl view or TMDL view in Power BI. What it is, when to use it, let's try to check it out as part of this video. And the legends like SQL BI people, they have commented it's a game changer. Then it triggered me what it is exactly and what is the use of it, right? Let's try to check it out in this video. This channel contains a free content that covers MSBI, Power BI, Fundamentals of Azure. Please utilize this free content, share this channel with friends and colleagues. With this note, let's begin. So I am in Power BI now. So you can see here TMDL view, uh, people call it as TMDL view. So in order to enable it, it's still in the, um, what do you call the preview feature. So go to option settings, options, and then just um, choose the uh, enable the preview feature it's in the preview feature here you can see the team deal view press ok and I already did that so for in your case you need to close and restart your power bi desktop then it will happen now let's go and check it out what it is now so basically this uh, team deal view is nothing but a scripting uh, future of your uh, model objects what are those model objects it can be a table it can be any other calculation group measures all other things are considered as each and individual objects when you drag and drop this one you can see the uh, scripting future of your uh, particular object right so each and every object you can able to use it uh, view it in a scriptable way let's try to check it out one of the object here dim customer when I drag and drop I can see the script used to generate the behind the scenes power bi users or microsoft users uh, to store this particular object in a script right so this is the tim dill view so overall this is the main purpose what is the main advantage what what i'm going to get uh, out of it right there are a lot of use cases out of it let's say i have used everywhere dim 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 and fact right I want to replace it because uh, someone who is in the business once you're initially developed and uh, they're trying to analyze they don't want what is this dim dim fact they don't like it they want to replace so in order to do this right now either you need to write a power query some functions complex things right but always we prefer copy paste or replace function right now in this view it is not possible earlier now in the Tim Dill view you can script uh, entire model you can see here you can right click here script entire model to the clipboard then just use the control h future find and replace the dim can be replaced with any other name let's say dim i'm finding it right so i have a space as well so let me put first i will cover dim with space objects then i'm replacing empty just do the replace all that's it so I have replaced all the objects here which has a dim with uh, spaces right now I need to press apply so there are certain changes here there are pending changes in your query that has been applied just plus press it it gives some warning and then also you give the refresh now button because that names has been changed right so this is very simple because i use the space uh, i just for example i showed how easy uh, it become right now right now my model is back to form so uh, this is one such a example how quickly you can deliver the things earlier it took long time for you to do the same thing that is the enablement let's quickly check other um, uh, functionalities over here so right now this is the view once you come here you can drag and drop certain objects or the entire model you can drag and drop then you can use the uh, features here there are certain things you can uh, do here like you can minimize this uh, measures uh, so that it will be in a graphical uh, I mean it will be reduced uh, space so that you can view it in a simplest way this is another uh, important feature and you can see it is uh, properly formatted with the different coloring 
uh, meshes right that for the user user friendly uh, visualization i mean it's for very easy to understand and read now it defines a column this is the status and the column and i mean this is the column name the column and the what is this uh, um, what is this all about order type name is the column and data lineage so you can easily able to differentiate this is all about the futures let's try to summarize what are there are a lot of documentation about this whatever i explained in this two to three minutes uh, all about um, this um, rtml scripts there are other important aspects like common use cases of the tmdl so now i use the same thing dim is replaced with back this is the fundamental problem earlier from the beginning so that's why this is quoted as the first scenario and then you need to create a perspective uh using this method you can able to create the perspective then i need to modify the power query expression of my table without triggering a refresh so let's try to check it out what is the scenario i'm they talking about let's see here i have a customer right the customer table i have a email which is the derived column here so earlier um if you see uh, the email name right at the bottom this is the um, email name uh, which is having the uh, what uh, it has to be defined now i can able to remove this column right i can modify it uh, based on my choice so that is what uh, it speaks about let's say I, i don't want this column anymore i can do the apply here then so earlier in order to delete it you can delete it or use to do some customization or add some um, formula editors here right so here you can able to edit now i edited it i deleted it so it is gone no more exist and even you can able to change your formulas that is what they mention it here i need to modify the power query expression of my table without triggering a refresh earlier you, if you do some changes to your power query you need to do the refresh here you can't you no need to do the refreshing that is the another advantage then you need to switch from direct query to import mode for many objects you can do it in a quickly and that's it so these are some of the key uh, purposes you will go for it from my perspective another important thing i could see is like let's say you are storing you are you are doing a mass changes in your uh, power bi file right multiple changes before that you want to be safe you want to take a backup right so what i will do is i will go here and do the script tab i will take the entire script and put it in a notepad earlier if it is let's say it is a 4 gb or 2 gb file when you remember when you were developing a power bi file you load all the data over here working with the large model is become so complex in order to do the backup restore everything instead what i will feel is going forward we need to start using the tmd that is the another main purpose you can take the entire model script and put it in a notepad or any other tmdl format itself then you can see here it takes only 30 kb only instead of storing the 2 gb 3 gb entire file so by which what i will benefit here is if something goes wrong when i do the mass changes i take and back up i do a lot of calculation change relationship change something goes wrong i can quickly revert back to this version just copy this content previously backed up and paste it that's it then i will get the entire code again then once i apply it this will refresh so i hope you understand um, why uh, this particular um, uh, future is told as a game changer because you can enable quick development and you can have um, uh like many products can be quickly delivered i hope you like this video if you are um, new to this channel hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon for notification and do remember that data is your asset